An unusual sighting over East Honolulu caught the attention of lots of eyes today. Was it a drone or some kind of a spy plane? Whatever it was, it caused quite a buzz. KITV4's Catherine Cruz has our top story at 10:30. Helicopter pilots flying tours over Hanama saw it, and workers at the bay wondered about it too after the aircraft buzzed over and over and over again. First two times it went back towards the airport, third time it headed out over Diamond Head out to sea. And you yeah. hadn't seen it before? Never. And it was low. It had no markings, but it, it looked like a Larry Ellison jet, honest. It did. It, it was a private jet without any, no markings. Steve Mott said initially he didn't think too much about it. He first noticed it at about 9.30 in the morning above Kamehame Ridge. But after it buzzed ahead four times, he managed to snap these photos as it flew over Portlock. Very low, not anywhere near an airport, way too low to, for a jet that big. Um, and it looked like a Learjet, but it was so low that you could totally see a blank side. So it, initially I thought it was a drone, but who knows. The East Honolulu scenic skies are usually busy, with everything from hang gliders to parasailers to helicopters to other general aviation aircraft. But this unidentified flying object caught the attention of more than a few eyes who wondered what it was up to and whether the FAA knew anything about its unusual flight patterns. My clients that I was visiting, they were telling me that they saw it as well, and they, they were it was saying how suspicious it was that what is that plane doing so low? The FAA did confirm it is testing a new system of navigational aids. It started yesterday and may continue through the week. The agency said it has a variety of aircraft with onboard computer systems that measure navigational signals to make sure they're in proper working condition. Today, it was flight checking procedures for the Honolulu International Airport. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News. So was it a Learjet? The FAA apparently does have them in its fleet, so it is likely what people have been seeing over the last two days. UFO now identified.